Hello everybody, Leo here with the Cohen Group Northwest and I uh, wanted to create a case study series that uses um, homes that we've listed and sold and represented buyers to purchase and not going to disclose any uh, anybody's names or the parties involved but ultimately just utilizing some of our experiences to show why it's important to have an experienced broker that represents you um, especially now that the market is, has shifted, has adjusted this is back to a time where it's even more important than ever to have somebody, whether it's a solo agent, someone that's just working on their own, a solo agent that has an assistant, a team, a person that works on a team, doesn't matter. Having someone that knows what they're talking about that can give you proper guidance to ultimately have the best experience. Um, you know, and just to give a little bit of context, during the pandemic market, so 2020 to 2022, middle of 2022, um, Having an experienced broker was the difference between good, okay, or good, and great, right? And so a lot of people said, anyone can sell a house right now. Well, that's true. A lot of the times, that no matter when you put a house on the market, it would probably sell unless there's something significantly wrong with it. The difference was between good and great. So the people that chose to work with a top, top broker at that time had an experience that typically was above, let's say, a house sold 5% above asking price. All of the little things that added up to an even better experience were because of the expert pricing, marketing, guidance, and all of the above. So that's just a little bit of context, but as we shift into a, uh, have been shif shifted in tor towards a more balanced situation, even though we're still in a situation where there's um, uh, still still lower inventory, we've, we've had, the interest rates have pushed us in a direction where we're experiencing elements of a more balanced market doesn't mean that we are a balanced market. This means we're experiencing elements of a more balanced market. So I wanted to create a case study uh, uh, series here so I could uh, better give insight on why it's important to have a, an experienced broker. And this is, a, this is an industry-wide uh, statement. This is not meant to be like, oh, you should hire me. This is all about me. This is like hiring someone good. This is in, in general in our industry, someone that is plugged into systems, education, has a proper marketing plan, has support on the things that they're not good at, that they need help with. Um, and ultimately understands your house to a certain extent, your neighborhood, uh, the, the city, what's going on with data, how to position your house, how to prepare it for sale, all these things. So anyways, that's the intro. Now I wanna get into this specific case study, which is about a house that we, or a condo, that we just listed here four days ago. And this is the tip of the iceberg. So this, 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 this property selling within four days or going under contract, was just the tip of the iceberg. So I met with these folks three years ago and they'd asked me for advice on what the market was doing, what they should be doing to prepare this for sale, and when they sold it in the future. They weren't sure if they were gonna do it. You know, kick the road, kick the, the can down the road a little bit further. I'd given them proper, you know, uh, uh, pricing. I'd give an idea of what it, would, what, it would, uh, what would it take to sell it, what the market was like at the time. They waited, we, we, we pumped the brakes. And then we reapproached it eight months ago. So they actually called me and said, hey, we're, we're ready to, to actually get this show on the road. What should we be doing to maximize, as the market's shifting, what should we be doing to maximize what we make on this? And I said, great question. So I took a walk through the unit. Um, it had dated carpets, um, luxury vinyl plank, but it had some really great updates. So it had fireplace, kitchen, bathrooms. Um, there were multiple colors of paint. And obviously the big focal point was the view. So I said, okay, well, you know, step one, I don't typically recommend that people need to spend a bunch of money to get a house ready for sale, but sometimes it's actually really worth it. Like if the house is in that type of condition or the condo is in that type of condition, it is worth it because when we're looking to price it in a luxury condo market or in, in that, that spectrum on the market, um, it's important that it, that it fits and that it fits in a way where it's, um, the best property on the market in that asset class for that price. So someone walks in and this just says, well, the people that don't like it just don't want to be in a condo. Okay, fine. So we get about six months out and I say, okay, here's the deal. I think replacing, let's, let's do luxury vinyl plank throughout. Obviously this depends on your budget. This is going to be my reckon, recommendation. You can decide based on my, on, on what I've recommended, what you want to spend. We talked, we did floors, trim, paint, lights, um, made all the lights the same lumen, all the same hue. Um, 
completely repainted everything the same kind of nice neutral tone um, and then accented all of the like restained the doors redid the trim around the cabinets all of these things did an additional layer of underlayment under the, the luxury vinyl plank all of these things added up right um, come down to you know and, and this is a, also a shout out to David Campbell with Cool Runnings Construction but they came in and did it very efficiently very effectively and did a fantastic job People that came through loved it, worth it. We, we, we raised that market value by putting that extra additional um, input into it, if that makes sense. So Now, um, coming up to listing day and our, our marketing team, on every one of our listings, it's important to have professional photography, uh, videography, and Matterport. In this specific situation, since it was vacant, we wanted to make sure that it looked awesome. It had some really nice accent furniture in there. So we, we always hire Cassie with Sparrow's Loft Staging here in town. She did a fantastic job. If you just looked at this, this is probably the best photo that captures all of the elements I just described. Not only did we do the, did David do the up, upgrade with the flooring and the trim and the paint, Cassie comes in and does the staging. It's not overwhelming, it's not cramped, it's really nicely designed and it feels like it shows what it would look like to live in it, but it doesn't feel like it, it cramps on the space. And then Radley Mueller with Radley Mueller Photography did the photography. So the photography looks awesome. It highlights the view, it highlights Cassie's staging, it highlights the work that was done, which is fantastic. And we can see all of the additional staging, the bed. I'm actually gonna go, keep going here. And it's everything from these little touches, this cookbook, all of these little things, which Cassie does an awesome job with. Um, but these are the little details that add up to people walking in and being, being wowed. So that's step one. Photos looking awesome. It sh shows up online. It highlights the view. But when you walk in there, you're not distracted by anything. You're not distracted at looking at the view by the carpet that needs to be replaced. Or um, it's vacant and you're kind of overwhelmed by the idea of trying to fill the space. Anyways, on to the next point, which is um, doing a voiceover video that highlights the, the unit so you can pass that along to potential buyers and describes what, what's happening. It's a, it's a vi visual offering memorandum. Here's Cassie, sparrowsloft.com, Matterport tour, allowing for people to be able to walk through without actually walking through it. So if they're out of town, they can really get a good sense of what the unit's layout is like and then schedule a showing from there. So we're doing all these things that lead to people when they show up and they schedule a showing, they walk in and there's no distractions. It's wow, 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 I like the furniture. Wow, I like the staging. Wow, I like the, the kitchen. Wow, the paint looks great. It's nice and bright. The lighting doesn't bother me. The fixtures look good. Um, the fireplace is great. Oh my God, look at the view. We want that to continue. We want these types of things to just continue to that momentum. So. These are all of the things that went into the, our marketing package. So making sure that everything looks awesome that was done. It doesn't make sense to do all that work and then not highlight the work, right? Or the staging. Then the last part really is, um, what were the things that were done to keep the momentum going? Right, because marketing doesn't sell homes, marketing gets eyeballs on homes. The broker, the experienced broker is the one that does this, that actually does the promoting and negotiating and selling. So I want to be really clear about that because I get asked all the time, what do you guys do for marketing? Anybody that says they pay the most for marketing, that's not what sells homes, that's just either paying to have more eyeball, it reach more eyeballs and potential buyers, or um, it's spending money on, on you know, open houses or um, you, know, you know, custom marketing or whatever it may be. So next we schedule on Friday, so it's listed on Thursday, on Friday, I held an open house that was specifically for all the residents so that they could come and take a look at their neighbor's house. Great, cool, come on through. What's your feedback? I prepared market analysis for them. I gave them an idea of what had been done. I talked about Cassie and David and really plugged the people that made it all happen. Um, a lot of good feedback. Hey, who do you wanna be your neighbor? It's a pretty valid, direct question. Then we did an open house on Saturday, which was packed um, and then had an offer um, we were thinking we are going to get two, but we had an offer, which is a great offer that came in um, on Sunday and then today, or sorry, yesterday, it was, uh, it was pending. So I, I wanted to make this video not to say, hey, look how awesome we are, look at all this stuff that we did. 
But I do want to really lift up all the brokers in this industry that are really good at their job, that are committed to excellence and education and really making sure they're staying at the cutting edge, have, have invested in proper marketing, not cell phone photos, none of that bullshit, professional photographer, professional videographer, Matterport tour, knowing the process of how to keep that momentum going, knowing where all, all of where it needs to be posted, knowing where it needs to reach people, knowing how that all works, and then ultimately guiding people on what they can do ahead of time to really maximize when people walk through. What are the things that distract you when you walk in from saying, yes, 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 I wanna buy this, and what are the things that need to be done in order to get, get it to that point where it's not a distraction? So I wanted to give a huge shout out to all the brokers that are pros that are in this industry. Um, it not only took people from good to great during the pandemic, but also now when, when we matter even more, it, even, it matters even more to have an experienced broker at this point. So uh, this is case study number one. It's a little bit longer than I'd like for it to have gone, but just, just for the intro for the series. Um, but I hope this is helpful and I'm happy to do more series and I'm happy to answer that question um, because I believe it to my core that um, hiring a good broker, whether they're a solo agent or on a team, is the way to go to be successful in real estate and it's worth it. It's worth it. So hope you all enjoy this, uh, this video. Hopefully this is helpful. I'm going to do more case studies like this and um, looking forward to hearing any questions or comments and uh, see you guys in the next video.